If you like using Modo to create your game geometry, you'll appreciate this video. We've asked the guys from cggookie.com to showcase how to set up the scaling in Modo so that your assets fit the FPS control plugin for the Unity game engine exactly. Now CG Cookie, in our opinion, has some of the best game art tutorials in the industry, so we're honored that they're helping us out. Enjoy! Hello, this is Wes McDermott with CGCookie.com. In this video, we're going to talk about exporting assets in Modo for use with FPS control. Before we actually export any assets, what we want to do is make sure that we have our scene scale set correctly. So here I am in Unity, and I have the Shellshock demo scene open. So I'm just going to kind of zoom in here into a doorway, and I have this tool called the Distance Tool. Now this is a tool that I wrote, and it's free on the Unity Assets door. You can pick that up, and what I use this tool for is just to basically just measure scene elements. And so here I have two nodes set at the bottom and top of this door, and you can see that using the Distance Tool, I can see that this doorway is about 2.33 units tall. So let's look at this another way. Let's get a bit more visual with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my game object and I'm going to uh, create a cube. And this is just going to be a default Unity cube. So it's basically going to be uh, the scale is at 1. So it's going to be just basically a 1 by 1 by 1 unit cube. And I'm just going to go ahead and place this here in the doorway. And now let's go ahead and just duplicate this guy. So we've got one cube here. And let's duplicate this guy. So now we have two cubes. And if we take a look at this, um, we're looking at basically this doorway is about two and a third cubes. So here, let's do one more. Let's duplicate this guy, and then we'll kind of scale it here. And we'll place this up here in the doorway. Just kind of match this up so you can see here. And so here we go. Just roughly about two and a third cubes. Unity cubes, and each one of these cubes again are about one unit tall. So we'll go ahead and just remove these cubes, and we'll go back here to the distance tool. So what I do for setting up scenes uh, for FPS control is I go ahead and set myself at this 2.33 unit. So this is kind of like my working unit for all my scale, and it's basically, like I said, it's, it's, the, it's the average height of a doorway here inside of the shell shock scene. So here we are back in Modo, and I have the hydrant selected, and you can see with the dimensions tool active, we are at 1.5 units. So if we come over here to the view menu, you can see that we have dimensions tool. And so, uh, well, two things. First off, uh, this dimension is too high, obviously, or too large. And then uh, second off, where am I getting this 1.5 units? So what you're going to want to do is uh, go over to Modo, and you're going to come over to your preferences. And inside the preferences, we're going to come all the way down here to the unit section. And what I prefer to do is take my distance units, and I set this to game units. So by default, I believe it's on SI or metric. You want to go ahead and change this to unit, game units, your default unit is a game unit, and then this meters per game unit, you want to set this to 0 0.01. By default, or internally, Moto is working in meters, and it's typically a hundred times larger than default Unity objects. So we're going to keep this at 0 0.01. And in Modo, we're going to pre-scale our objects so that when we import these back into, back into Unity, we can actually work at a scale factor of 1. So now we're done with our preferences. We'll close out this window. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this into a side view. And now let's go ahead and activate the ruler tool. So I'm under the view menu, and I'm going to select ruler. And this is going to be, let's see, if we go ahead and set this up, remember as we talked in Unity, that our, um, our doorway is going to be, let's see, let's zoom this out, 2.3. So what we can do is if we're using that doorway as a standard uh, unit of measurement, you can utilize a, like a dummy object or a cube or something in Moto that's 2.3 units tall. Now, since we've set our unit of measurement to game units, we can work in this nice generic unit space. So we can actually say, well, I need the object to be 2.3 units, or, or we can use that as our base scale, because we know that 2.3 is going to be the size of a doorway, at least. So now we see this fire hydrant is obviously too big for this. So let's go ahead and take this, let's see, uh, a doorway itself is around, you know, uh, average door around 7 feet, so I think that's like 86 inches. Um, if we were to take, a, 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 I think, um, a default fire hydrant, is a, it's just some measurements I did, it's around 26 inches, so uh, it's, it's roughly a third. So let's go ahead and just drag this down, and let's set this to be about 0.8. So here we are, uh, we've changed our, our distance tool here to be about 0.8. Now let's go ahead and select our fire hydrant now. I'm going to activate the scale tool, and now I'm just going to scale this fire hydrant down. Uh, let's go ahead and move over into a front view, so we can make sure that we set this as accurately as we can. 
So, you know, again, we're just kind of eyeballing this. So, so it's about uh, 0.8, so uh, that's about what we want to be. Uh, now, another important thing with this is what we have done here, and I mentioned earlier, we're going to pre-scale this object. So we've pre-scaled uh, this fire hydrant. So if we come over here and we look at the properties of the transform, you can see that we're 54% uh, on the X, Y, and Z. We want to leave this here. Do not freeze or zero out these transforms. Go ahead and leave this in place. Uh, because, like I said, we're going to pre-scale this when we export this back over into Unity we're going to be able to work with a scale factor of one with this. Um, so the next thing that we want to do, uh, typically with uh, kind of environment assets, I'll make sure that I set my pivot point here at the base. Uh, that just makes it easy to move around in the world. So you can see that... Um, you know, I can I can just you know easily place these items in the world uh, using the vertex snapping and Unity works really excuse me and Unity works really well uh, when you have your pivot set at the bottom, especially when you're trying to place items in the world. So now that we have this in place, we'll go ahead and just export this FBX, and I'm going to e export this right into uh, the Unity project. So I'll just do file and export as, and we'll export this as an FBX. So now we're back in Unity, and here is the fire hydrant object that we exported from Moto. And so in the inspector, underneath the scale factor, we've got this set at 0 0.01. Now we've already utilized this as our, uh, game, our meters per game unit. So what we're going to want to do now is change the scale factor to 1. And so since we pre-scaled that object. So now we're going to take this. Well, we need to apply this setting first. So now when we go ahead and place this into our scene, actually, I think it was already placed there for me. Let's just go ahead and just drag and drop this guy here in the scene. So now when we place him into the scene, let's go ahead and just put him into the doorway. And you can see that this fire hydrant has now been pre-scaled and is relative to that doorway. Uh, to further illustrate the point, let's go ahead and just check our distance tool. So we'll grab the distance tool here. And uh, we'll go ahead and... Um, pull this down on the Y, let's see, select this top node, and we'll, we'll just kind of pull this guy down here on the Y, let's see if we can't put this into like more of an orthographic view, so let's see here, let's go ahead and place this really close here to where our distance tool is, and let's go back up to the top node here, and as I start to bring this down, you can see that our distance tool here in Unity is actually reading, uh, you know, very roughly, you know, the same as what we had in Moto. So we're at 0.8 as we were in Moto, and now here in Unity we're at 0.8 as well. And now this fire hydrant uh, scale has been established, and it's, uh, and it's on par with the Moto scene and the Unity scene for FPS control.